This is a fan-generated show. If you would like to support us, please go to jamieglazov.com and also don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. All your support is greatly appreciated. Good evening. Welcome to the Jamie Glazoff moment. Tonight, welfare queen boasts of raping the government. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know if you've seen it, there was just this really profound video recently of a welfare queen just boasting that she's not going to work and her main priority is just to rape the government. It's just, uh, you know, just uh, what, a, what a moving and inspiring video. Um, you know, everybody's talking about it. When I was watching it, I was just struck by the generosity of spirit, the intelligence, uh, just the gracefulness. And, uh, you know, I, I was reflecting on what the socialist and Marxist idea and what the Hillary's and Bernie's of the world help to create, help to foster, and help to fertilize. So before I comment on this a bit of what socialism creates in its earthly incarnations, let me share with you uh, just this very inspiring and, and profound video. Well, I have all these followers, like 300 followers, respect to 10. Next, almost 400 kiss my ass. Y'all want to go, remember like my pigs? None of my kids' pigs? That's how I feel. Sick it and twirl it, because while I'm still winning, still winning fast. Where I will this shit alone. You never seen that thing. pro. Got my own shit. Do it. Mother three kids by myself. Fuck it, and I don't pay taxes. Lick my ass. And I still got it. What you want to say? Oh, welfare bitch, food stamp bitch. Well, this bitch got more than you. Welfare bitch, food stamp bitch got more than you, bitch. And you work at 9 to 5, bitch. What? Let's get it. I'm sick. I love my fucking shit. And I'm going to still say my ass. I'm still going to play you. Fuck you, dude. I still got bread. And you still broke, bitch. Waking up at 9 to 5 and you ain't got shit. <laughs> Fuck out of here. Play the government. Fuck Trump. Fuck the government. I'm going to rape this shit. Sitting on my ass. I'm still Gucci. Still fucking Gucci, son. Thirteen hundred dollar rent. Down in my pocket. That's me going up. Let me go wrong way. Let me go wrong Two feet, 
And we never broke. We always got uh, six kids. Because I got three too. Well, we got six kids. Cousin's mom. And Amy's mom. So we can say seven. Seven kids. Seven kids. Okay. Um, on the one hand, uh, I think only speechlessness can uh, ensue after this, but I couldn't get four minutes of my life back after watching this video, and so perhaps there was a little bit of a sadistic impulse in me to kind of do it to others. So I apologize to my viewers that uh, you're not going to be able to get four minutes of your life back. But there's something actually very serious about this. And as I was watching this, and afterwards I was reflecting, that there are millions of these people in America. Or we could argue maybe hundreds of thousands. You know, I don't know, but I'm talking about the mentality here, the disposition overall. And, and what do we have here? What we have here is what happens to a society when its value system does not appreciate, does not take into account the vital importance of reciprocal rights and obligations. When there are mutual responsibilities and when there's individual accountability. When that goes out the window, and you begin to believe that the cure for social ills resides in government institutions, and when you believe that you can take from the people who have created and who have worked, and you can forcibly take their wealth and give it to people who have not worked and who have not labored, and, and give the wealth of those who have to them without any obligations, without any reciprocal rights, or responsibilities, this is what happens. This is a reflection of the Marxist, of the socialist, of the leftist idea and its earthly incarnations. And it fosters and spawns tremendous pathology and poison. And ladies and gentlemen, this is only the beginning. This idea, we've already tried this. The planet has already tried this. It, 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 it practiced it in the Soviet Union. It happened in Maoist China and in Communist China, in the killing fields in Cambodia, in North Vietnam, in Cuba. This poisonous idea in its earthly incarnation resulted in more than 100 million deaths in the 20th century. Economic starvation, economic destitution and deprivation and mass murder. And so now this idea in its earthly incarnation in, in terms of what the Hillary's and the Bernie Sanders's of the world have created and want to continue to create, you've got a good look at it. You just watched four minutes of what this idea spawns. And you know, I, 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 I was just reflecting upon just the notion of what people bring to the table when you're invited to a table and how, how vital that value system is. And, and, and I was reflecting on how my father and my mother raised me. They were dissidents in the Soviet Union. And uh, as a kid, I remember growing up, certain things that my mom and my dad taught me that I didn't understand as a child, but I understood much later. And I remember what a precious thing our dinner table was and all the beautiful and precious and sacred things that my dad and my mom created at that dinner table at our home, and all the wonderful people, uh, from priests to perhaps even derelicts from the street and intellectuals and, and, and dissidents from the Soviet Union. There was such a wide variety of people from all walks of life that my father would bring to our, to our dinner table. But my point is, is that it was never really said to me, but I always understood that, that the dinner table was a very sacred and, 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 and very precious thing, and that while I received something and, and was wanted at the table, that it was also important to consider what I also brought to the table. And I don't mean that I was supposed to bring five bucks, but what I mean is that in that wonderful communal and collective atmosphere where there was so much 
generosity of spirit, that each person perhaps could bring a joke, could bring a question, could bring a bottle of wine, could bring a hug or a sense of gratitude or just an overall disposition of, of love. But every person felt the obligation to bring something and, and was also so happy and so joyous to receive. And, and, and we reflect on, on, on that phenomenon. And, and when we reflect on that, the monstrosity of the socialist idea comes to mind and what it creates. And when you watch this video of this welfare queen bragging how she just rapes the government, you can just imagine what this mentality, what it's surrounded by, who it influences. She talks about having children and what, what kind of work ethic and, and what kind of role model you know, do they have? And, and, and by no means am I condemning anyone or, 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 or anything of that nature because there's a triumph of the human spirit and, and many people can overcome tremendous odds. Um, but in general, it's so important, the example that we set to people. And when there's a poisonous example, it, it, it sends reverberating poisonous shockwaves, uh, you know, all around. And so we see this poisonous, poisonous element that socialism creates. And, um, and I will tell you this, that after watching this video, there was a YouTube comment on the top. And uh, Truth Revolt um, par uh, also used this comment as part of its uh, title and teaser for running this story. But the comment said, I'm Hillary Clinton and I support this message. And uh, I think there's a lot of truth to that and a lot of scary truth because the Hillary's and Bernie's of the world are still at it. See you on the next Jamie Glazoff moment. Good night. <laughs>